guys, Caleb here. I'm going to do a quick review on my phone. I'll try and make it quick. Um, I sent out a tweet last night about this new keyboard I was trying out, Minim. And uh, I got some funny replies down here. What keyboard is that? What the fuck? No way. Does it really work? Um, this is the, the image that I attached to the tweet. Anyway, I just thought it was really funny, some of the replies. And, you know, I actually agree with the guys because um, I was... Uh, fairly ignorant to the keyboard. I had seen it once, but um, I noticed that it was on sale in the Play Store. Let me pull it up for you guys so you can see it in there. Um, let's see here. So, Minim keyboard, you can see it's on sale right now. I think I got it for two bucks. I believe that was the price. And uh, I'll just kind of scroll through some of the pictures. I'm going to go through this with you guys anyway. But um, first things first, you know, they talk about kind of the future and they've got you know google glass and they got like the nfc rings playstation remotes the wii remotes they just uh make it look like you know the, the future could be this very small keyboard and i don't know if it's true but it's interesting they're thinking that way and then you can see that it does pop up to a full keyboard the numerical um they've got gestures and landscape you know it talks about the auto correction which i agree works extremely well um, I don't typically like auto correction and this is the reason why I did the, the keyboard in the first place. You know, having all that screen real estate is a huge deal for me. Um, all right. So there it is in the play store. I'd highly recommend it. I'll link to it in the video. And, uh, let's see, you know, I think I should also point out, this is kind of a new thing for me. You'll notice there is no swipe or swift key. That's freaking, uh, I don't, <laughs> that's a, it's amazing for me. Um, so, all right, so here's the settings for Minim. And uh, you can change the layout. Obviously, I've got it set to uh, QWERTY. And if you look at the keyboard, um, I'll show it up in a little bit. It it really mimics the drop down of your, your normal keyboard from the top left to the bottom right of three keys in a row. So it's pretty interesting how it does that. Um, let's see, I don't care about other languages that's turned off spacebar i don't really care about that for there because there's a gesture for it um auto capitalization sure learn haptic feedback and then you know the cool thing was i imported a lot of my data and so it's picked up a lot of stuff so the import process actually did um, work fairly well let's see um so i uh, showed the keyboard showed this keyboard settings you guys probably want to see how it actually types. Um, at least I would if I were watching this. So I want to pull up as if I'm sending a tweet and try it out real quick. Um, I'll just say, uh, you're recording. Uh, so when you type the word, it'll um, allow you to select it right here. Or you could just... Um, Once you've got the word, you can select it, or um, let's see, what I wanted to do was to swipe it. So when it's selected, if you want to just use that word, it's correct, you can just swipe like that. Um, and then there's the swipe up into the right to enter. And then if you hold this down, you got your numeric pad, and you can see there's... Um, when you click on something, it allows you to select everything to the left and right pretty quickly. Um, so you don't have to be perfect. And then if you want to bring up your keyboard. And let's see. Voice recognition. And then changing your keyboard. So, I mean, really, everything you need is there. And uh, it's, it's something that I don't probably type as fast with it using swipe or swift key and I'm I mean I'm very fast with those I don't even have to be looking at my keyboard but this keyboard is uh, just I don't know it's hard to say but there's something very unique about it and I really love um, kind of the thought and having all that screen real estate so for me totally worth two bucks and uh, yeah I'm gonna keep sticking to it for a little while and see if it's something that you know will maybe prevent me from using the stock keyboard or uh, swipe or swift key, which, you know, let's be honest, those are the champions. All right, guys. Um, hope it helped. Go pick it up. Try it out.